Remarkable what you're seeing right here. It happened last week in Salt Lake City. The first man to jump in and encourage those others to get in and help out is Leo Montoya, who joins us now with his story. Leo, good morning. I, I'm saying it's good to see you, but I have a feeling everybody there was pretty happy to see you after what we looked at in that video. Describe to us how you knew something was wrong. I know you were on your bike. Yes, I uh, heard the explosion or the wreck, and I, when I got to the bridge, everybody was looking into the water, but nobody was doing anything, and I knew that I just heard that there was children in the vehicle, so I immediately jumped in and uh, tried to get them out, and I realized that was a futile e effort and just convinced everybody that was watching on the bridge to get in there and immediately and, and flip this vehicle. That was the only way they were, kids were going to live. I mean, it's incredible the thinking that you were able to have and the action that you took. You actually went under, and when you say you realized it was futile, your first attempt, you went under, and what did you find? Why did you need everyone to start flipping that vehicle? Because you dove underneath the water. What did you find? Well, I thought I was on the driver's side, and it didn't dawn on me until I had opened the door. There was no steering wheel. I couldn't feel nobody in the front. So when the second time I went in, I uh, felt a person's head in the back seat, and uh, I came back out to get a knife because they had their seat belt strap on them, and I realized that that's going to take a long time just to get a knife. So when looking up and seeing all the people on the bridge, I realized, hey, we got enough people here. We can flip this truck over and get them so that they can start breathing or at least get some help to them. And so you, in that split second, I mean, re saved his life. Did you think you'd be able to get enough people to actually do the work? And that's a huge vehicle to get right side up again. I, I really did think that we could do it. I kind of went a little bit crazy and was screaming quite a bit, but there was enough people, and, and I knew we could do it. Well, you certainly took charge there. And the, the team that you actually got out, he made it okay? Uh, I, I hear that there was three people in the vehicle, and all three of them came out okay, and they're just fine right now. My goodness. Once that happened, I mean, so many people jumped in and did the right thing under your direction. You were a true corporal, we'll call you, in this safety and rescue. What, what did you all say to each other, Leo? Oh, it was just thank you. I was just thanking everybody for helping, you know, and I'm, right now I'd like to say thank you for all the people that jumped in that water and made the difference. And I'd also like to say thank you to uh, Marcin Stevens from the I Care for Kids here in Salt Lake. Uh, stepped up and gave me some glasses. I'm unemployed at this time, so that was a really big help for, for me. She replaced the glasses that I had lost when jumping in the water. Wow, a big gift from her as you offered one to so many. I know you're a locksmith, correct? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Well, you know what? You unlocked a whole new set of days for the boys in that car. We always say it's better with friends here at Fox and Friends. I'd say hashtag better with Leo. You are a hero, and we wish you well. I have a feeling you're going to have a great job ahead of you. Thank you so much. Leo, you're pretty incredible. Thanks.